Ironclad is a, it's an action adventure film set in the 13th century. Um, it's set against the backdrop of the signing of the Magna Carta and King John, and it's basically about the siege of a castle. Um, it's, uh, it's probably best described as a medieval Magnificent Seven or a medieval Seven Samurai. The, the, the look and the feel of the film really came at a very early stage in, in, in all of my research and in wanting to try to portray a very realistic, gritty look. I, I, I knew that I was, although I was very inspired also by a lot of, you know, the, the wonderful big uh, medieval epic movies of the 60s and the 70s, movies like El Cid with Charlton Heston, movies like The Warlord also with Charlton Heston. Um, I, I wanted Ironclad to be a, a much more contemporary, modern film um, and to have a very gritty, real, brutal look. I mean, the, the 13th century, what fascinated me about it, not just the, the main historical events that we sh see in the film, but what I also found fascinating was just how hard and brutal and tough it really must have been to be in that period. The love affair was always a central part of the story that I wanted to explore uh, because I felt, you know, otherwise we would end up with a movie that was just about violence and battles and killing um, and action. And I felt it was important for the film to have something to offset that. So, so you know, the romance, the love story was always important uh, part of the film. And. Uh, and she really brings the soul, I think, you know, as a character, Isabel brings the soul, the, the sort of central spirit of the film, which was also very important, you know, to sort of offset all the battle and the fighting and the action with, with, with a real heart at the centre of it. I feel very, very fortunate and very grateful that we were able to make the film in Wales. You know, as you're, as, 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 a, as a filmmaker today making a, a large independent movie, I had often expected that we might end up making this film not in England uh, or, or Wales, but uh, not in the UK, but in somewhere else in Hungary or Luxembourg or Germany. Um, and many of those places would have been uh, would have been fine, would have been good. Uh, we would have made the film just as well. But what I loved about making the film in Wales was the countryside in Wales and the weather is is amazing. I mean, the countryside really lended itself to the film perfectly. We used a lot of locations in and around the Brecon Beacons, which is a spectacular landscape, a very old looking landscape um, and, and also a lot of the countryside, the rolling hills, the green meadows and pastures and the woodlands of an area called Monmouthshire, which is incredibly beautiful and I didn't know very well before I made the film and before I went there.